Hi Nicholas. Hey. How are you doing today? You look a bit sad. Not so good actually. Why? I have this great website with great content, a lot of users, but I have a hard time monetizing. Oh, okay, I get it. I think I can help you, Nicholas. Listen to me, Nicholas. We have developed an algorithm mm. able to increase your real time bidding revenue. Real-time bidding is a technology websites use to sell their ads in real time. Let's take an example. When an internet user is visiting mm. one of your web pages, let's consider you have three ad slots to sell. Each one of these slots will be sold using second price auction between brands wanting to display their ads. So this first ad slot, for example, will be sold for $5, which mm. is the second highest bid. Okay. This one will be sold for 20 cents, and the third one will be sold for 50 cents. Do you get me? I get it. But how do you increase my revenue? Okay, Nicolas. Actually, in each auction happening in real time, you can set a reserve price, which is sort of a price under which you do not want to sell your ad, because no. you think it's worth more than that. So let's consider the three possible cases. Hmm. In the first case here, the reserve price is below the second bid. And so the reserve price is actually useless and the closing price of the auction is equal to $5 as in the no reserve price case. Hmm. In the second case here, the reserve price is between the two highest bids. And actually, thanks to the reserve price, you will have increased your revenue from $5 to the value of the reserve price. And in the third case, which is actually the worst case for you, the reserve price is too high and is mm. above the first bid. And actually the outcome of the auction will be zero dollars. Oh. Yeah, that's bad. But okay. how, how do you set the, this reserve price actually? Oh, okay, I, I will show this to you. Oh. Yeah. This plot represents the outcome of the auction as a function of the reserve okay. price. Okay, do you get it? Yeah. So when your reserve price is below five dollars, the reserve price is actually useless. Okay. Then, if the reserve price is between the two highest bids, yeah, okay. the reserve price will increase your revenue, and then the, your revenue you comes everything. to zero and you lose everything. Okay. So, do you get the idea? Yeah. The idea very is to clear. set the reserve price very close to the first bid, but not higher. Hmm. But then you have to predict this optimal reserve price. Yeah, of course, that's where you will need us actually. We have developed a prediction engine mm -hmm. able to predict in real time and for each auction an appropriate reserve price which will hopefully increase your revenue. Mm. So the engine uses in each auction identifiers of the internet user, identifier of the app placement and possibly other variables mm. you may have and predict for each auction an estimate of the outcome function. Okay? For each reserve price, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Then the optimal reserve price maximizing your payoff will be predicted and set into the auction. Okay. And then once the auction has happened, we will use the observed outcome to update our prediction engine in real time. In real time, yeah, that's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. this prediction, how does it work? Oh, I will explain this to you. Actually, for each reserve price in a discrete scale, we will model the outcome for this reserve price P with a matrix factorization approach, which is illustrated here. Mm. So for each per internet user and ad placement, we will be able to predict the payoff for each reserve price of the scale. Oh, okay. Do you have more questions about this? Mm. But actually, Mm -hmm. How do you make sure um, the buyer don't change their behavior while you're optimizing? Oh, that's actually a very good point and a very difficult theoretical question. Hmm. But empirically, we have noticed when deploying our production engine for a lot of websites that this case never happens. Okay, great. Uh, one last question, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, sometime, actually, in my platform, I don't get to observe the first and second price. How do you deal with that? Oh, okay. This kind of censorship issues is very common in practice mm. and happens for a lot of advertising platforms. So we have tackled these issues in our paper. So read it and you will know. Okay. okay.